Gentlemen, welcome to the Brent031 YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be taking an up close look at Crossfire's latest edition of their patrol pack. And that is the CF1. Now, the CF1 is very modular. Crossfire has always produced excellent equipment for the modern day warfighter. And this modular pack can change from being a 12 liter all the way up to a 26 liter pack, depending on your needs and mission. So, we're going to dive right into it so you guys can get an up close look at it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment. All right, gentlemen, this is the CF-1. So this is with uh, most of its attachments to it. So you obviously you guys can see it has this exterior pouch. It also has an area right here, this like kangaroo area that attaches. This all can be disconnected. So everything you see right here can be disconnected from the pack to make it into just essentially a bare bones pack. Um, and how do we do that? We're just gonna release these uh, quick release buckles here. So. Crossfire, Crossfire has a unique system where straps can easily be undone with just a series of buckles and tabs. So just like that, I've taken off the top portion. This area is zippered. And it's, it's protected by a little toggle. So don't worry about that zipper coming undone because this toggle will keep it in place and keep it coming off. So. Now I'm undoing these straps here, but these straps can also be removed to go off with this uh, exterior pouch. Now obviously this would be a lot easier if I was on the ground doing this, but. <laughs> See, almost done here. Little Velcro piece, again, protecting the zipper from uh, coming off when you don't want it. So here we go, I just removed this exterior portion from the pack itself. And this is down to its bare bones. Now again, I can take off these, uh, these buckles if I want and it would be even more streamlined. But this is in its most basic configuration, the CF-1 in its most basic form. Very streamlined. Um, you guys can see it's got a series of like Molly attachment points as well as like a, a ladder system. This is like their own proprietary uh, system here. I'll show you several pouches that help tie in with just a series of hook and loop, which is just um, real, real easy, guys. Um, actually, it's not a hook and loop, it's more of a, a toggle system that will enable you to attach pouches quickly and remove them quickly if you so choose. But that is the, the pack in its most basic form right here. So let's dive in, we'll take a look at this, and then we'll, uh, we'll look at some of the attachments. So starting off, let's look at the uh, pack straps. So the pack straps are, uh, they're padded, but they're not too thick, right? So they're not gonna be so thick that they're interfering with things like your, your butt stock. Um, all the way down there, you have the, uh, the daisy chain, the uh, crossfire style daisy chain, which allows you to quickly adjust this sternum strap. All right, so the sternum strap, you can either remove it and not wear it at all, or you can adjust it all the way up the daisy chain to wherever you want it, all right? So it's completely adjustable. And again, these uh, proprietary uh, crossfire style connection points are easy to remove. So just an example here. Boom, I can already remove it that simple. To reconnect it, pull through, and it's back in place, okay? Both pack straps are adjustable easily. Tighten, loosen, whatever you see fit. They have uh, little Velcro pieces to, to uh, police up your excess strappage. The straps themselves can be removed quickly, again, with that same style of tab system, so you can pull it off if you need to remove these. Now you ask yourself, why would you want to remove these? Well, this CF1 pack will actually attach to a different pack. All right, so if you have a larger uh, Crossfire uh, ruck, this will attach to one of those, okay? That's a case in point on why you'd want to attach this, or detach this yoke itself from the main pack, okay? So, and then again, here at the top, you can detach the yoke from the pack itself. And you see on the top and bottom, you can do that. And then you're essentially turning this, this pack into just one large pouch for your main ruck, okay? 
You also got some Velcro pieces here, and obviously this is uh, for you know running either comm wire or a hydration uh, bladder tube, something along those lines through through those uh, daisy chains. All right, so down here at the bottom, you guys can see on each side is an attachment point. That is for a waist belt. Now I'm not big on waist belts as an infantryman because I. I feel that waist belts, you know, a lot of times you go up to hit your quick release or get your pack off your ruck, um, and this, you either forget about this or it's just not quick to get off, okay? Um, but if you're just a civilian uh, hiker or something like that, or you're in the rear just doing a, a force march, like waist belts do have a point or do have a purpose. They are helpful, uh, but in, you know, combat patrols and things like that, when, you know, lives are on the line, I tend to not like waist belts, so I typically remove them. Okay, uh, but these can easily be attached, guys, or removed from the pack itself. So I had taken mine off. I'm going to put it on for you guys just to show you how quickly you can attach these things and put them back on your pack if you so choose. And just like that, I got a waist belt back on my CF1 pack. Attaches with a uh, fast textile buckle. And you guys can see, you can adjust it on each side, tightening it or loosening it to your liking, okay? So that is the waist belt. Uh, let's see. I think that's pretty much it for the exterior. You do have some, uh, some Molly style loops on the bottom. And I already told you guys, this is for that tail. So these can be removed completely. So if you don't want these straps on there for that tail, you take that off. And again, it just streamlines the pack even more so. Same is true with this one right here, as well as the one on the other side. Okay, so you can take these off and then just gets down to the bare bones of the CF1 pack. All right, let's dive into this. Get some of the stuff I put in here out of there. All right, so starting with the first exterior pouch. So large component, it's felt lined. So this is good if you got uh, any type of electronics or night vision or something like that where you don't want lenses to get scratched, this is perfect. On previous packs with crossfires, they usually have like a, a little pouch that has this type of padded uh, felt in it and it's for like your sunglasses. But this one is large enough that it will actually um, facilitate things like night vision. So let me get my night vision. And there you go. So just to give you guys a, a grasp of like how big this is, there's a, a pair of dual MVGs inside this padded pouch. So that will definitely uh, help protect your MVGs and keep them uh, like lenses and stuff from getting scratched. So that is the uh, first interior pouch that we're going to talk about. So open this up. You guys can see the padding on this back side to help protect whatever it is in that, uh, that next pocket that I just showed you. All right. Inside the pack itself, just, uh, you know, your deep pocket, you do have drain holes on the bottom. So if you, you know, end up submerged in water and you come out, that water is going to drain. There is a mesh, compartment in here. I've just thrown stuff like uh, maps in there for now, but there's a mesh compartment. has a little elastic piece, kind of keeps it tight uh, so you can help organize your pack. There is a camelback bladder holder in here. Now as you know, traditionally on uh, Crossfire systems, they make this removable. So you can take this out if you so choose and remove this all together from your pack. So if you don't want to keep your bladder inside your pack, boom, it's gone. There it is. Okay. So that's pretty much the interior of the pack. There is one more zipper, but that's just kind of, you know, keeping the, uh, the hard uh, plastic liner in there to help keep its shape. So, but you could still, you know, store stuff in there if you so choose, but that's, the bread and butter of the pack, guys, at least the bare bones of the pack, okay? So 
real simple. If, again, if I want to attach this uh, Camelback back in there, you guys can see the daisy chain along the top. I'm just simply going to run this toggle system through here. And this is somewhat of a new thing that I've seen, only seen in uh, the most recent couple years with Crossfire on their uh, their packs, is this toggle system. It just makes it so much easier, guys, to take things on and take things, put things on and take things off. So, just real quick, nothing to it. But the uh, Camelback holder, it has a little uh, piece in here. So you can hang your bladder on it. And that helps keep your bladder upright. Because you'll notice if, uh, if you don't have something like this inside one of these uh, Camelback bladder holders, you'll notice that the, the bladder will fall down into the pack towards the bottom, right? So having this little uh, securing mechanism here at the top helps hang the bladder so that it stays attached to the top and then the water just goes to the bottom. It helps keep your, your bladder upright and then you presumably have less issues in terms of uh, you know, trying to extract water out of your hose that way. So that is the uh, main compartment of the pack. It secures with a zipper. And these are heavy duty zippers guys. So you know not likely to break on you. It's gonna take a lot. So Crossfire is all their shit is Pretty, pretty impressive. I've been using it at both in the Marine Corps as well as one shepherd training and winter forge training for a while now. And their, their products have just held up. I've never had any of their stuff break on me. Um, you guys can see the daisy chaining going all the way around. You also have a carrying handle. Okay, so just well, well constructed uh, piece of equipment. Molly on the sides. So, and that's pretty much it. I don't see anything else that I'm missing here. So let's talk about some additions. So these are additional pouches that you can pick up and you guys can see on these that the daisy chaining going all the way down on each side, these can tie into them. So these um, secondary pouches, one of them's, you know, has orientation with a, you know, a zipper on the, uh, as I'm looking at it, the left side, in this one over here, as I'm looking at it, on the right side. And these are just additional sustainment pouches. I think these are called like loafs or something, loaf pouches. Um, but nonetheless, if you wanna add additional gear, additional pouches to the, to the pack itself, this is an option for you, all right? And you guys can see it attaches with that toggle system. So, just do an example here. Just so you guys can see how quickly I can attach one of these sustainment pouches to the pack itself. One side's done. It's attached way faster than trying to weave a, a bunch of molly through okay so again you guys can see just how quickly these things are done and uh, if you put them in correctly the the little cord right here will enable you to just pull and pull the uh, toggle right out There you go, you kind of get a better view of how that works. Boom, separated. All right. All right, next pouch I want to talk about, this is kind of a, like a vertical pouch um, and it has a side zipper. And how big is this thing? Well, it fits my Marine Corps issue Marpat poncho pretty easily. Inside it, pretty roomy, as you guys can see. And then there's a zippered mesh area and this is actually separated. So one zipper, but two se individually separated uh, mesh compartments. So nice little place to keep, uh, you know, 
valuables, cell phone, wallet, things of that nature. Um, help keep them from getting lost. So, nice little sustainment pouch. Again, this, this attaches with the uh, same toggles, and because it has a daisy chain all the way up, you can uh, put this directly to the pack like this, if you so choose, okay? The next thing is the little exterior kind of kangaroo style pouch. Not sure what the official name for this thing is, but these are just fantastic. These help carry, uh, you know, like Kevlar helmets. You can throw your Kevlar helmet in there if you're not wearing it. Let's say you're making a, a large movement, and uh, you know, a lot of times those movements, you know, uh, it's a lot easier if you can stow your Kevlar helmet for the movement itself, and that way the heat ex escapes from your head a lot easier. Uh, so these can carry a helmet. Uh, if you have wet clothes, let's say it rained and you used your Gore-Tex top and bottom and they're soaked, you don't want to stick that inside your pack because then once your pack's wet inside, it's going to take a lot longer to dry. So you just roll that stuff up, throw it in this like kangaroo pouch on the outside, and it helps dry it faster that way because it's exposed to the, uh, the elements. So how does this thing attach to the pack? Well, there's a zipper. So let's figure this out real quick. All right, there's the zipper. So I see the start on one end. So I'm going to start this over here, zip this on, and then on each side is a mechanism to help kind of secure the zipper to keep it from uh, going down on its own. So on this side is a toggle, this side is a toggle, but it also has a piece of Velcro. Boom. And then just like that. It's on. So that's how you can uh, keep your, that's very roomy, roomy guys. Look, <laughs> look at that, look how big that is. So a Kevlar helmet, uh, keeping you know wet clothing outside in case it rained. Keep that in that, that kangaroo style pouch. It help keeps that uh, stuff from uh, getting inside your pack and making it wet. Uh, so just a fantastic piece of gear. In the inside of this flap you have Another internal pocket, so a smaller one on top and a larger one below. So that's a cool little feature there. That'd be real easy access to get to something like, uh, let's say, a cell phone. On the exterior here, you have a, uh, a Velcro piece. If you wanted to put a fantastic pouch a patch on there, boom, there you go. All right, I'm gonna attach the top portion. With the quick attach. Now that's attached, and now I can detach this via buckle. Same is true with the side ones, which I left on. I, and again, I could have easily removed those if I so choose. Boom. So another addition to the pack. So I just significantly upgraded the pack to carry more equipment. Now, what can I carry on the outside of this? Well, again, you guys can see the daisy chain. So I can either do those, these half loaf freaking uh, pouches, or this is the perfect size for this longer vertical pouch. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert this with the easy toggles. Just like that, guys, the pouch is attached to the, to the pack itself. So that's it. This pack is uh, completely assembled, and you guys can see just how modular it is.
Well, that's it, gentlemen. That completes this video review of the CF1 Patrol Pack. If you're liking what you're seeing, don't forget to check out my channel. I've already done several gear reviews over Crossfire products and plan to do several more in the future. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment.